guys welcome back to my channel halloween happy where halloween is more than just once a year how's it going it's wednesday morning you know why it's wednesday morning because as i'm filming i look like a ghost <laughs> as i'm filming this it's actually tuesday night and i was <laughs> i was vlogging yesterday but i didn't get a lot of vlogging done today has just been a very weird day I don't know where today went. So Yagul does not have a video to schedule for my channel today. So I just wanted to come on here, even if it's a quick little video and just say hi and just to wish you a well Wednesday. I don't know, kind of do like a, um, I don't know what this is. But anyways guys, I was just looking. If you guys, does anyone like Heather McDonald? I love her so much I was listening she's had a podcast for the longest time because she had to move to she had to move off the network that she was on because her boss pretty much was a jerk to her but she has been doing her podcast and then she now has it on YouTube and she only has 14,000 subscribers and I'm like what the heck so I've been watching her channel and her videos because I like listening to it while I'm working or getting ready for my morning. So I've been doing that. I need to charge my Fitbit. So tomorrow is the start of week six of my eating, healthy eating habits. And I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty excited. Uh, I am continuing on with my planner. I decorated it the other night while I was watching the Super Bowl, which by the way, go Chiefs. Go Kansas City, and it's just, I'm not gonna talk a lot about it because these are my thoughts. Uh, just all of the bashing that I've seen and heard about going towards Jennifer Lopez and Shakira is, what are you doing with your life? That's what I need to ask. What are you doing with your life? Worry about yourself. I thought they did amazing. I was smiling ear to ear and I was like, girls, you better shake. You better shake them bones. But I hope you guys all enjoyed watching the Super Bowl. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you're just there for the commercials and maybe you're there for the snacks. I only just had dinner. Like, that was one thing. I was like, ooh, I wish right now I was at a Super Bowl party with nachos, Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, all of the O's, you know? So today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday night right now. But I was just looking up because, guys, not only do I have goals, I've talked about this for Halloween Happy. <sighs> I have like health goals, of course, but like goals I need to do to work on myself. Like I haven't, I need to go to the dentist. I need to find a dentist. The last time I went to the dentist was March or April in Kansas, but the time before that, if you've been around, you would have known the last time I went to the dentist before that was, when I was in cosmetology school. I was like, whoa, it was about 10 years. Anyways, so I need to figure out a dentist around here. I also need to go to the eye doctor because apparently computer screens are the worst on your eyes, which how long have we been looking at a computer screen? For a very long time. And the last time I went to the eye doctor was pretty sure before middle school. So, I need to get my eyes checked. Eventually, I still have not applied for health insurance. For the eye doctor, I'd rather just pay out of pocket and pay when I need to. But I know, you never know what's gonna happen. Also need to find a primary doctor. A doctor for my parts, because I'm gonna need one. Need to find a general doctor. Need to find an asthma doctor. Like, this is just, it's not stressful, it's just part. It's just what you gotta do, Sam. So yeah, those are some of the things that I wanna do this year. Why is everything so expensive? Uh, also, me and my friend Crystal, you guys know my friend Crystal from back home. We are going to start because we love FaceTiming and we are always rooting for each other with our goals and our dreams. Like, I was telling her, like, I just adore her so much. I feel like she's 
my mom. This is gonna sound really weird, but she's like the only one that gets so excited for me when I tell her good things about that I'm like wanting to do. She's like genuinely, genuinely excited and happy and she's always like you can do this you deserve this that would be great you can do it you got this i can totally see that i totally support you and i was messaging her earlier and i was like girl you support me like you're my mama and she's like well that's because i love you and i know that you can do it and that just melted my heart and that was just really nice to hear so we always like message each other about our goals and stuff um, because she's like wanting to do some stuff in her life with her career and we always update we're like very into law of attraction positive energy what you put out there you get back yada 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 and we are going to be doing weekly calls to where we hold each other accountable for our goals even if it's like a mini goal just something to follow up because if I don't talk about it with someone, it tends to just kind of fall or I stress about it when it's really not anything to stress about. That's just my brain being afraid and my brain trying to talk me out of it. I'm excited about that. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, let you know how that goes. How long is this video? I want it to be a little bit long for you guys so you have something to get ready for the day with. How long have I been recording? It doesn't say? Oh, seven minutes, okay. Still not have done my board. I tried to vlog the other day because I wanna make it more intentional, more specific. Can't believe it's already February. Valentine's is next weekend. Like, how am I supposed to stay on top of this? Work a real job, try to do my Halloween thing. We'll try and figure it out. So, if I don't do Halloween videos or a lot, Please forgive me. Where's February going? It's already February, like what the heck? Talking about how I need to go through my Valentine's craft supply, supplies and see if I have some stuff that I can HIY because I really don't want to, I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to save some money, I don't want to have to buy more Valentine's crafts. I'm so tired, like guys, normally I love the winter so much, not as much as fall. But I love it so much and I I feel motivated during winter, but it's just, it's really cold. Like it's so cold, it like freezes my body up and it freezes my brain. I feel like I have permanent brain freeze, <laughs> like my brain's not working how it should be working. And Raven's been really antsy today, I don't know what's going on with her. Another thing is, um, I just looked up to see how to, when How to Get Away With Murder comes back on. And why didn't anyone tell me it wasn't gonna be until April? Like, what the heck? Can you guys see my Halloween socks? <laughs> I wish I could put you guys somewhere else. Let's see. Let me put you here. Why didn't you guys tell me that that show does not come on until April? Oh, I'm not watching America's Got Talent champions or whatever it is i'm not i refuse to watch it i don't like when they do the champions i did watch the denzel movie denzel washington uh what's it called the equalizer two because i kept seeing the commercial the trailer like a clip on youtube it was a really good movie need to see john wick three i want to see the lodge um my brain's kind of tired right now so yeah, it's a little chit chat. Let me know what snacks you got. Oh my gosh. Little chit chat, just I know it's a mini one. Please be patient with me as there's not a normal fun video today, but I wanted to say hi and tell you guys that I love you and hope that you have a good day. Some of you guys have been mess, like so I, I don't wanna say I always get messages, but I always get messages from the Halloween happy friends. Just talking about certain things that have gone on in their lives and things that are going on in their lives currently and I I don't know I was telling my friend this the other day I was like I want to write a book because I feel like everyone thinks that it's just so easy for me to be happy and bright all the time but I feel like I do I don't know I put in a lot of work 
so my brain wants to be happy and I wish that I could just give the Halloween happy friends that are hurting right now, I wish I can give them part of my brain, part of my heart to keep them going forward and to keep them moving and pushing through. Ugh. I think that's just something that I got from my mom. She was always like, keep trucking along, just keep pushing, take it day by day. But it is, I mean, you just really have to keep pushing and I always say take it day by day, take it step by step. Like the best thing that you can do for yourself is to put one foot in front of the other and eventually you start getting traction again you start feeling better. I mean, things are not always gonna be good. There's always good days and there's always bad days. Really, really good days, really, really bad days. It's helped my brain to realize that and if it is a really bad day, I just remind myself, I tell myself like, Sam, this is just a bad day. You're gonna feel like there's no end to this. You're gonna feel like you want to end this. You're gonna feel lonely. You're gonna feel unloved. You're gonna feel not good enough. Just know that's just how today you feel. That's not your reality. That's not how it is. It's just a wave, like a negative wave, like a wave on the beach, the waves of the ocean. I forget what the, I forget what the saying is, but it's like your bad days and good days, they're, they are like waves that crash onto the beach. Like it builds up, it's coming, it's coming, it crashes, and then it slowly fades and it's like it was never there. I don't know, I just wanna tell you guys to remember that if any of you are having a hard time, um, just know that it there is a good day coming your way. I just know it. If you have to Take a nap if you have to listen to some music, if you have to bake yourself some cookies, make yourself some nachos, start a new show, read a new book, meet a new friend, go do a new activity, go volunteer. Just know that it's normal for people to feel like that and that it doesn't always last. Also, I was listening to Oh My Annie, maybe? Was she talking about Tony Robbins? So if you don't like Tony Robbins, I get that and if you do that's fine too but I heard a story that he does get to the point because I'm tired I'm gonna fall asleep but he will ask the people in the room to look around and spot all of the brown pillows so everyone's looking around just focusing on the brown pillows wondering how many they're gonna count how many they're gonna see they're making sure they're getting every single brown pillow so they can report back how many brown pillows they saw they finish up this exercise and then Tony says all right let's gather back up and tell me how many red pillows you saw and everyone's like Red, I didn't even notice that there were red pillows. You didn't tell me to look for the red pillow, so I wasn't even paying attention to a red pillow. I don't know how many red pillows they were. there were. I was only focusing on the brown because you told me to focus on the brown. You asked me to count how many brown pillows. So they look back around and they see the red pillows everywhere. And pretty much his point is that if you are looking for the negative in your life, looking for the negative in your day-to-day, -day, that is all that you're gonna find. Like I, uh, I could just like go on about this, but practicing gratitude, I think everyone needs to teach themselves. I don't know, you just have to look around and see these celebrities who are in the position of having all the finer things in life. They still are suffering from anxiety, depression, and everything that the normal people are. So you can't, I don't know, I'm just trying to say that you really gotta work hard at trying to find the positive in your day to day, the positive in your life, the positive with your job, the positive with the people in your life, the positive within yourself. Like, I don't know, sometimes I talk about how like, how I have no friends, but honestly, like I love that I am my own best friend. Like guys, I've been my own best friend since I was a little girl. Yeah, I always had best friends growing up, but they would always leave my life or I would leave their life. That's just what happens when you grow up and you become your own person. There is something about practicing gratitude, being your own best friend, loving yourself, knowing that there is more 
out there in life than just the troubles that you're facing. If you have family and friends, reach out to them and tell them that you need help. Tell them the stresses that you're facing within your day-to-day -day life. They will help you. The people that love you want to help you. Even if it's not someone you feel close with, no one, no good person wants to see someone that they know do bad in life. I wasn't planning on giving this little spiel so it's unorganized, but if you could focus on one thing you're thankful every day, even though I've always been grateful for the things that I've had in life, I will think about it every night before I go to sleep. As I'm praying to the universe, as I'm praying to a God, I tell life that I'm so thankful that I have three things in my life. They could be three people, three things, three opportunities, three whatever. Be my body, could be my legs, it could be my lungs, like just anything. You just really gotta open your eyes. I mean, it helps so much, but I'm gonna stop rambling because now I'm gonna have to edit this video and I didn't want to have to do that. But just know that I love you and know that if today is a bad day, tomorrow is a brand new day to have a good day. Just know that there's more positive days to come, there's more bright days to come, more days filled with love to come. Just don't feel like you're alone because you're not and just know that this day, what is the saying? This shall pass, this, sh this too shall pass, which it always does. Might not be as quick as you're wanting it to be. You might have to stay in that struggle for a little bit to learn something. Just know this is going to make you stronger. Everything that you've been through up till now has made you so much stronger. If you did not face that and overcome that, you wouldn't be so strong as you are right now. So you could totally get through this and just know that I love you. And if you ever need to message me, please feel free to message me. I might not answer right away, but I do answer my messages. You don't have to tell me everything that's going on in your life, but if you just need a person to talk to, I will do my best to listen to you and to let you know that you're not alone and that things do get better. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel great. You deserve to be loved. And I just need you guys to know that, that I love you so much. I'm here for you. You're not alone. We're in this together. We can face our bad days to get to the better days together. I know it. Take it day by day. Breathe. Focus on the good in your life. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys so much. If you want more Halloween happy and wanna see what I'm up to, all my social media is linked down below. If you have any words of wisdom or advice to help, that helps you when you are in those low times, those low days, those low moods, please feel free to share down below so the other Halloween happy friends can read and hopefully find some kind of encouragement motivation and inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video finds you having a very, very Halloween happy kind of day. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Remember, day by day, we got this.